Welcome to October's Leco Challenge. This problem is called Recover Binary Search Tree. You are given the root of a binary search tree where exactly two nodes of the tree are swapped by mistake. Recover the tree without changing its structure. So if we have a binary search tree that looks something like this, we can see that uh, this one doesn't make sense because three to the left is greater than one. So we'd have to swap one and three to make it a legitimate binary search tree. Now they say a solution using O of n space is pretty straightforward. Is it straightforward? Uh, well, let's first try to solve that and see if it really is that easy. Um, say that we wanted to figure out what is not in order, right? Well, what we can do is a in order traversal of our binary search tree and just output in our nodes into some sort of list that's going to point to the nodes. And then I suppose we can look to see what's out of order that way. So what I would do is create some sort of temp list. Um, and we'll create a function DFS. We'll pass in a node and we'll do a in order traversal. So if not node, we'll return. Uh, otherwise we go DFS node to the left. Make sure to go DFS node to the right. And in between, this is where we'll output to our temp the node itself. So what would this would do is give us a temp list with the nodes in order. So this is an in order traversal. So let's make sure to run that. Now we have our uh, list, right? Now, how do we know what's out of order? So that's a little bit tricky, but let's just do it the most simple way. Um, say that I want to have, I'll call it sort, uh, sort, and we'll say, okay, sort the temp list by the value. Sure, why don't we do that? We'll say node.value for node in self.temp. And we'll sort it, and this will give us all the values that are uh, with it sorted, right? So really, we don't really need to actually change the structure of the binary search tree itself. We just need to make sure these values are, are properly in order, right? So say that if we had, you know, um, this example with one, what is this? This would look like three, two, one, right? If we had three, two, one, well, we know that one and three are swapped, but there's not really a good way to do that. If we just sorted it and just said, hey, you know what, just get this value here and update that. Uh, this one is two, two, so whatever, and then update that to three then our binary search tree would keep its structure and the values would actually make sense, right? So could we do that? Let's let's see. Um, we'll just go through our sort. We'll say for value in sort. And what we'll do is, I guess we will update the self.temp. And maybe we'll go at length of the sort, we'll use i instead, we'll say temp i, uh, get the value and make it equal to our sort dot i. So would this work? Let's take a look. Oops, oh, of course, range. And that actually look like, looks like it's working. So let's submit that. And accepted. Oh, okay. So I suppose I now know why they mean it's straightforward. Um, this is a what, m log n solution because we're sorting it. So could we do better? Well, yes, but I don't think I'm going to because the answer was pretty complicated. All I will say is um, if we had some sort of order like one, two, three, and then maybe something like four, uh, five and four. Uh, we can see that these two are going to be the ones that are swapped, right? Now there's another possibility where it's, so it looks something more like one, two, uh, this is like 10, and then there's something in the middle like five, and then whatever, seven, but this one is like three. Um, like this could happen too. So what we would have to do is traverse this tree and find the candidates at which the order is messed up. So here, if we travel this in order, we can see that 10 and five are out of order. And then as we go through, we'll say, oh, seven and three are out of order. So if this happens, what we'd have to do is swap 
the one at the end of our second candidate and the one at the beginning of our first candidate. If we don't find two, then if it was like five and four, um, like this, we just swap these two. Now, that would require some memory, but it would only require four memory. We would have to store like four, four a maximum of four possible candidates. Because mathematically, if you think about it, if we only have to swap two and we could get the proper order, then these are the only two possibilities. Um, but to code that out was a little bit, uh, so I just don't want to do it. Um, but it would still be an in-order traversal, and it's definitely doable. All right, so I'm just going to end it there. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.